Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the 9th of April. I'm James Spann. Looks like we're going to be dry through the weekend ahead, rather cold tonight, and some storms early next week. Now, let's take a look. This is the water vapor satellite view, big cold core upper trough. The axis moving east of the state that brought some uh, rain last night, some storms with small hail yesterday afternoon to parts of West Alabama. In the wake of that thing, we'll see the uh, sky becoming sunny today. We are starting off the day mostly in the 40s. The cold spots, Fort Payne and Haleyville at 43. Those were captured about 5 o'clock. We'll expect a high in the mid to upper 60s today. That is below the average high of 73 for the 9th of April. Around the nation, temperatures are somewhat seasonal, I would say. Still pretty chilly up around the Great Lakes, but those numbers certainly look more like spring now. Watch warning map, still pretty quiet. We've got some river flood warnings in Alabama, especially down along the uh, parts of the Alabama River, the lower warrior, uh, as all the floodwaters move south. Across the high plain states, those are red flag warnings, that bright pink up through there because the air is so dry. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Monday morning at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting nothing for most of Alabama. Uh, with some pretty good rains off to the west, our next good chance of rain will be just beyond this period, Monday or Monday night of next week. This is where we'll be at 1 o'clock today. This is the OZGFS at 500 millibars, trough axis to the east. And the sky will be sunny today. And again, the high mid to upper 60s, fairly cool. Now, tomorrow morning, uh, we will see most locations with a low near 40, but the traditionally colder spots could see mid to upper 30s with a touch of light frost, but nothing widespread or especially damaging, which is good. And then we warm up into the uh, middle 70s uh, tomorrow. The GFS showing 75. Friday, beautiful day. High in the upper 70s, around 78. And if you like that, I think you'll like the weekend. This is Saturday. Sky should be mostly sunny. High is upper 70s, and the same thing on Sunday. I'd say the high Sunday, 77 to 80, with a good deal of sunshine. It's just gorgeous weather. We know the cold front uh, located north and west of the state. We'll go to Monday, and you can see a, a, a fairly dynamic positive tilt trough west of the state. And that will push rain in here. And, uh, you know, the... At this stage of the game, we just don't know about the how much rain will fall or severe weather. Uh, but that certainly suggests Monday could be wet. There's a 1,003 millibar low near Cincinnati, Ohio. And then Monday night, just after midnight, the rain is gone. We note the European is a little slower. This is Monday night at midnight, uh, showing still a pretty good batch of showers and thunderstorms coming in here. So, you know, the timing, we just don't know yet whether it's during the day, Monday, or Monday night, but clearly a good chance of rain and storms in here. And again, it's too early to call if we'll have any, you know, really heavy rain or severe weather. And then Tuesday, that system is on out of here. And Wednesday of next week will be bright and sunny. And the good news, the, uh, the thickness values are not as low as other runs we have seen. Other runs have suggested maybe some type of frost threat out there. Uh, by maybe Wednesday morning of next week, but uh, this run does not look as cold. But we'll keep an eye on things. Uh, let's go out there a little later. This is April the 8th, uh, 19th, I'm sorry. Saturday, April 19th. That looks fairly wet. And the end of the forecast on the 24th. The core westerly is a little north of here, and down below that, some rain north of here, but we would be dry and mild if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today, and if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.